Hello, I'm Carolina, and I'm going to present you my project entitled Aquas Two-Phase System from Liquid-Liquid Extraction to 3D Cell Cultures. ATPS are classified as a type of liquid-liquid extraction technique that involves combinations of polymer-polymer at certain concentrations, giving rise to a top phase and a bottom phase. Therefore, the recovery and purification of biomolecular interest have been the main applications. Therefore, novel biotechnological applications Towards tissue engineering have emerged, such as the construction of 3D cultures in which stem cells are encapsulated in polymer droplets distributed in defined patterns over another polymer and culture media. This technology enables the reproduction of cell niches, promoting cell-cell interactions, which ultimately results in higher cell viability and differentiation efficiency. This project aims to improve the construction of ATPS 3D cultures for the differentiation of IPCs into modern neurons. However, to achieve this, First, it is important to determine the optimal ATPS conditions prior stem cell encapsulation. Therefore, the experimental strategy starts with the construction of six different ATPS using these four polymers at different concentrations and molecular weights. Different combinations of polymers give rise to the two-phase formation, which is subsequently separated at the top-phase polymer and the bottom-phase polymer. The development of in vitro platforms consists in the generation of well-defined droplets, evaluating droplet size, number of droplets per well, and total volume. Also, three different strategies are tested, considering technical aspects that could affect droplet stability, which is further analyzed under microscopic evaluation. These outcomes correspond to an experiment in which only one droplet of 0.5 microliters is tested in the six ATPS using the three strategies. As you can see in strategy A, the observation of one defined droplet is present in ATPS 3, 4, 5, and 6. The same thing happens in strategy B. However, the presence of other small droplets is also observed in both strategies. Whereas for strategy C, one defined droplet is observed in the same ATPS. Comparing the three strategies, strategy C seems to promote droplet stability. In this context, small droplets of 0.5 microliters maintain greater stability than bigger droplets. The diameter of the droplets form were measured in order to estimate their area size, varying in a range of 1,100 to 1,500 square millimeters. Regarding the ATPS evaluated, ATPS 3, 4, 5, and 6 showed better outcomes than 1 and 2. To achieve the translation from lab to clinic settings, the need for scalable technologies to obtain high efficiencies in cell proliferation and differentiation is crucial, in which the construction of ATPS critical cultures stand as a promising strategy. Thank you.